The palette maps chords that can be built from one or more scales. The standard layout is for traditional major and minor keys with chords colored by type. Click any chords to hear them. Click in the circle to select a key. Drag the chords you like to the harmony lane. That will add them to the current container. Click in the circle to select a key. Return to the previous key. Chord changes can be surprisingly subtle, like with this ambient texture. A palette can also be played with a real-time sketch. Scales are being selected for chords depending on their sequence. With the Estimate button, you can rebuild all scale choices based on the current sequence of chords. As it happens, this progression has been in a minor all along. You can select instruments from your arrangement to replace the global chords and bass instruments. I'll pick a more subdued coloring now to make highlights and selections more obvious. Click a note to see all chords that include it. Click a scale to see all chords it can build. Freeze current selections to try chords without changing the highlights. Recall your recent history of chords you played. Copy them to the clipboard and paste them wherever you want. Open a different palette from this menu. There are many different layouts and colorings for specific purposes and musical styles. Some colorings change dynamically, depending on the sequence of chords you play. This one for example, highlights suggestions for the next chord. You can even build your own layouts and colorings and explore the possibilities of exotic and extreme scales. Palettes are divided into five areas. In the middle are one or more horizontal scales. The scale on top is called the reference scale. 
It gets a higher priority when searching for vertical scales that match a chord and thus influences the character of a progression. The columns above are chords built from the reference scale exclusively. The columns below are chords built from any of the other scales. Related chords hang down from the top. These can't be built from the scales, but still have a significant function. Additional chords at the bottom are only remotely related to the key. They offer interesting variations or may lead to other keys. Standard palettes resemble traditional major and minor keys. Alternative palettes can be based on arbitrary scales. They are not tied to traditional major-minor tonality. You are pretty much free to include any scales and experiment with the chords that show up. Right-click here and select a horizontal scale to add. Click here to make any scale the reference scale. Click and delete a scale you want to remove. Click a chord first and then add a vertical scale of that chord to the palette. There are many options to control a palette and customize its layout. Please check out the section, Palettes, in the chapter, Concept, of the online manual. Once you have finished a new layout you should save it, so you can open it in your arrangements later on. In the Catalog of Chords and Scales, you can not only create your own scales, you can also start a new palette based on any scale. Just double click on it. Open a different palette to see what the current chord means in a different key. Use the navigation menu to highlight shared or distinct chords. There are endless possibilities to explore keys, scales and chords with palettes. You will certainly discover a few that will help you build compelling progressions that make your music stand out. Thank you for watching.